Noble family? Do you guys hear that? I don't know what's happening, but there's this strange voice that closely resembles mine saying that I have to go back. Back to what? Back to Hollowville, you dumb noob! Do I, why haven't you been? It's been like two months. Why have you not been there? Idiot. Oh, go! Uh, I'll go back, I'll go back! Phew! Okay, my fumble family, I don't know why I have not returned to Hollowville yet. Uh, I've just been very busy, but I am on my way back there now because I heard there are some updates to be found, uh, or some things that I have previously not found before. I don't know what they are, I have no idea what they are, but I am just back to be back in Hollowville, baby. So let's get in there and get searching alongside some fumble family myth hunters. Okay, here we are in the world of Hollowville. I am surrounded by fumble family members in every which way, including some very familiar ones over here, or actually friends of mine. I actually wandered around here for like 40 minutes or something like that. I had I had a lot of clips, uh, but it turns out everything that people showed me, I kind of already knew. I decided that I'm just gonna look things up on my YouTube comments, and, and it worked. There's some new things on my YouTube comments for me to go check out, so I'm gonna go check off those things one by one that people commented, and uh, I'll see if they're cool. And they probably will be, because it's Hollowville. My god, this guy's head is a cheeseburger. That's cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I need to go to the bank, because inside the bank there's apparently a QR code, and if you download an app on your phone and scan the QR code, it'll take you to a secret message. I've already accessed the bank earlier in this video. I, I went and put an apple on uh, Guy's desk. If you don't know how to access the bank, you go to the park, you get the apple, you put it on Guy's desk, and you go in the bank. Okay, so now that we're in the vault, we gotta search all the shelves that we can find for a QR code. I have no clue what shelf it's on, so this could take a while. My girlfriend's currently laying on the floor next to me, just so you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, someone said they figured out how to log onto the computer. We will have to check that out in one minute. After I scan this QR code, we'll go head over to the school and figure that out. Oh, oh, is that it? That must be it. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, that was hard to find. I don't know. Wait, that's not a QR code. That's a map or something. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a secret. Uh, I can see if I can scan it. I don't think that's a QR code, though. Okay, let's see if we can scan it. I don't think that's a QR code. It's just like a map. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, my girlfriend just confirmed with me. That's probably not a QR code. Uh, so uh, maybe I should search around to see if there actually is a QR code, uh, but that 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 is something interesting. It happens to be a map. Screenshotting that, so we can go back to that. Oh, ah, no, I actually sat in this chair. Oops. <laughs> okay, here's the cassette tape. I don't know if you guys remember that, but there is a cassette tape in here. That, and if you plug it into a cassette player, it plays some sort of audio, very mysterious audio. I can't really make out what it's saying. There, I don't see like any QR code in here. I, I feel like it, it exists, or maybe it did exist but I don't currently see it. As this guy says, yeah, you kind of just have to look around until you find things. It's, it's, it's hard, but that's part of the myth. Okay, this person here says it might be under one of the fallen shelves. Someone did comment it was under a shelf. Uh, I, I kind of just assumed it meant like underneath like, like, like the shelf, but maybe they meant like the whole thing. I don't know. Here's what happens if you plug the cassette tape in. I have no idea what it says. Okay, okay, wait. Maybe this map is the way to find the QR code. Let's take a look at the screenshot, and we'll, and we'll go close up on it and see where the map even leads to. Okay, okay, here we have it pulled up. I have it on the app so I can zoom right into it. Uh, okay, uh, what does this indicate? Where am I? That must be the entrance, right? No? I don't know. Let's retrace our steps. We're gonna go back to the first room we were in, and then we will follow that map. Wait a minute. This is not a map of the vault. It's a map of Hollowville. Okay, okay, I totally see the shape now. Let's leave. Let's leave. I'm a genius. That, that's the fountain. That This thing right here is the fountain, I think. And there is pointing to the school, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Let me go check. Okay, so somebody uh, somebody said in the comments that the map is, resem or is showing that the uh, statue was changed. I didn't catch that, but maybe that's what it is. Before we continue, let's do a little hopscotch, shall we? Oh, yeah! Okay, wait! <gasps> Fountain is also pointing at something, right? Is that what you're doing, Fountain? You're, you're pointing, right? The the map appears to go like this. So that has to be it, right? Where is this gonna take me? Let's go! This can't be it. This can't be it. There has to be something around here. The map points here. <laughs> they want to suggest boosting me over. Okay, let's try. <laughs> let's try it out. I don't know if it will. I, I have a feeling they probably thought of this. Uh, yes, it appears that they thought of it. <laughs> Before we look more into that map thing, I heard that there's actually a few new books in the library, including this pale blue one right here, which reads, What to do when night falls, by Larry and Gary. Quite nice names, Larry and Gary. Step one, hope that you aren't in the middle of a book fair. Book fairs can be very, very scary in Hollowville. Well, that was the entire book. Thanks for reading. The book is titled, Swear Word. Oh my goodness. You can't make it out what it says. That's because if I did, I'd get demonetized. And this yellow book right here is also new. 
All about our amphibian friend frogs! Oh, frog got a book! That means Albert got a book. Nice. Written by Gary. Hey, Gary. Thanks for the awesome book. Oh my god, there's a beehive! I don't know if that has like any indication of any secrets, but that's really cute. Oh yeah, over here in the school, I've also heard there's something I should see in school. Uh, I know that this drawing is here, which is really cute. It's me, all of the Hollowville members, and Albert as frog, my security guard, over here from uh, the book fair when we went and visited. Okay, this clearly indicates something, right? So... I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it does have a- Hold on. <laughs> I want to show you guys it, but there's like 20 people in front of it. But there's a code on that poster. It is A, B, C, D, but it's really just like a few keys on the keyboard. I went and tried to use the computer in the library, but it didn't seem to work. I think that I have to do something before I can do that. So there's a missing step in the middle. Okay, okay, okay. Someone named I'm Smart 7 has given me a tip. Uh, apparently, I actually came in here at the very beginning of this video. Uh, somebody named Simpy Fish helped me out with this earlier, but it didn't work because I must have misclicked or something. But this poster right here, you can't really make out what it's saying too much because a lot of people around it. But it has the code to turn on the computer in the library. So I'm actually going to jump out of the server on account of I can't really do anything with there's a lot of people standing on the thing that I need to interact with. No offense, guys. I love you. Uh, so I'm going to say bye to everyone and head into a private server. Ah! I had to jump on the roof in order to escape the mob of Hollowvillian citizens. Oh god, oh god, no! Oh my gosh, okay, 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 somebody just pointed out something that I didn't even realize before, but I almost kind of pointed it out myself on accident. Well, the, the fountain is actually pointing to a beehive. I'm not sure what that's supposed to implicate, but the beehive is actually what is being pointed to from the fountain. Okay, yeah, it does look like it is true. Uh, from the fountain over here, it is pointing down this way, which does lead to the beehive. Can I click the beehive? Can I hit the beehive? Can I do anything to the beehive? Sting me! Sting me! Don't make your eyeball juicier, says Lord Luscious Lips. What a good username. Okay, I just let them know the sad news. I have to head into a private server for this next part. But, uh, goodbye, my bubble family. Look at all these awesome people. There's so many of them. And don't worry, you guys didn't mess it up. I just, I need to be able to click on things. That's all. Haha! <laughs> so now, the bubble family is actually secretly in my server still. But they have no idea. <laughs> now I can see they're talking about me. I took so many screenshots, says Master of Heck 57. Uh, I know about those screenshots. I know. Now let's go into the library. We are supposed to enter the code that we found on the computer there. Okay, me and my short shorts are now entering the school. And I'm going to be sent home because that's against school policy. Okay, here I have a beautiful drawing. I didn't even see what the caption said. It's a poster of all four residents along with someone else. Oh, and then on the side, it's a... Uh, oh, it said, made by Joey in the corner. There's also another person taped to the edge, which happens to be Albert. That's so cute. I love that. Uh, here is the keyboard, which has the code in which we are supposed to do. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to screenshot that so I can go back to it. Then we're going to pull it up right here and, and put it on the same tab as our map. There it is. There it is. There's the code. So we are going to be very precise with this. Let's go over to the library and see if we can get that computer to turn on. Don't mind me, everyone. Just a very handsome fellow with a handlebar mustache. Heading to the library. Okay, keyboard. I believe A was there. Uh, what was next? It was A. B is four in, so one, two, three. What comes after three? Four! C would be on the very last side. Of the, okay, okay. C. And then D should be the space bar. Oh, it didn't work! It worked! Oh my god, it worked! Okay, oh, I was actually starting to think I got tricked. Okay, it says H and it's loading. What is gonna happen? Ah, oh, this has all been leading up to this. I need a username and password to log in! Oh no! <laughs> I don't have the username and password! What am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, let's try JokerKid5898 in my real Roblox password. No, I'm just kidding. I think that maybe the QR code that I was looking for before could have something to do with this password. I don't know what it is. This might be where I have to stop for today. In which case, if you know anything further, please, please comment down below and get throw me a bone, man. Give me some help. I am a slow person sometimes. Uh, so let's see. Let, let, let's try Gary. No, uh, let's try Larry. Let's try, let's try Guy? No, okay, okay, how about Joey? It's none of those things, it's none of those, dang it. Okay, so I guess that's where, it's it for now. I, I don't know what the code is, uh, so unfortunately, I cannot access this any further. I'm gonna take one last look in the vault just in case. If I don't see anything there, we'll have to return next time. But at least today, we found, what, three new books? We discovered a map hidden down in the vault, which then revealed that it was a map of the entire town. Don't know why it was down there, a little bit suspicious. That map also pointed to something, which happened to be a beehive, I think. I think that's what it pointed to. As you can see, this man right here is pointing, or, or maybe he's stretching. I don't know. 
Now I'm gonna head to the park, grab an apple, throw it on Guy's desk, and head back into the vault one last time to see if I can find that QR code. Everyone has left because they thought I left. I'm still here. Going to Guy's house, giving him his favorite fruit. Favorite fruit for you, my friend. And leaving. Bam, let's go in that bank. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick search around. Zach, if you could fast forward this. <laughs> Earlier, somebody told me that this room could have some significance. So let's see if maybe it's in this room. Okay, my Fumble family, I've come to the conclusion that there is not currently a QR code down here. At least not one that I can find. Watch I say that and you guys probably find it right away in my video. Uh, but I actually cannot find it anywhere. So this is all I can currently do in Hollowville at the moment. Until next time, my Fumble family, we are going to figure out some more stuff and then we will be back. You know I will be back. This is one of my favorite minutes of all time. So obviously I very much enjoy whenever I am here. So I would love to come back. If anybody knows any information, please, please throw it my way. If you like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Ooh.